Hey you guys, welcome back. So we're gonna talk about the Chrisley family today and it's not bad news. Like here lately, unfortunately, when we talk about the Chrisleys, it's like Nanny Faye being sick, the Chrisleys getting arrested, you know, their sentencing being postponed, taxes and bank fraud and, and I'm, fan, I'm a fan of the Chrisleys, you guys. So that sucks, but today we're gonna talk about Chase Chrisley proposing to his girlfriend of three years. Um, and yeah, and she said yes, you guys, and I just, Learned today that Chase's middle name allegedly is Madison. I had no idea. So let's go ahead and let's get into it, you guys. Okay, you guys. So Chase Creasley has proposed to Emmy, his girlfriend of three years, on Friday, October 21st. The Creasley Knows Best star revealed they had gotten engaged when he shared a few photos from his Instagram or shared a few photos to his Instagram account of his epic proposal. He took a play out of Kanye West's book, I'm not, no, no anti-Semitic things. Um, I'm talking about renting out a stadium. So that was big. I thought it was a really good way, you know, a really big way to do it. Like that's what Kanye West did. He rented out a whole stadium. He had music playing. He had a whole orchestra back there. Did I say orchestra? Or orchestra. Or orchestra. Orchestra. Um, no, anyways. So, um, yeah, it was a beautiful event. All the pictures are beautiful. And let me just say, you guys, Emmy reminds me of Chase's mom, Julie. Um, but like a younger version of Julie, you know what I'm saying? But you know what they say, like, what do they say? What do they say? Men are attracted to women that are, you know, are kind of like their moms or whatever. From my understanding, Emmy is like very, like a very sweet, down-to-earth girl and has like that maternal motherly not instinct she's not a mom but she like personality that she's like a caregiver like takes care of people from what i understand that's her personality and that's julie chrisley's personality as well like she is a very giving taking care of person like you know what i'm saying so anyways the photos are so cute, you guys. In one of the pictures, Chris Lee can be seen getting down on one knee while he and Emmy stood in the middle of an empty football field for the occasion. Chase decorated the stadium by placing a bunch of flower petals down in the shape of a heart and having a giant diamond ring balloon that says, I do. Now, on the Instagram caption where he posted the photos, he says, I'm the luckiest man in the world. Being able to call you mine forever is a blessing straight from God. You are my sunshine when it's dark. You are the rain when it's dry. I love you more than life itself, and I can't wait to live forever with you. To you, my love, thank you for taking me forever at Emmy. So sweet. In the comment, Chris Lee's oldest sister, Lindsay, she shared one red heart emoji and wrote, we love to see it, and I love to see that Lindsay is back with his family. Like, I'm loving that the family is all back together. Not only is Lindsay getting along with the family, but Kyle, he and Todd and the family are no longer estranged. He actually um, developed a relationship again before Lindsay did. So Lindsay only recently, like in the past few months, uh, you know, reconciled with her family, but Kyle did probably like a year or so ago. But anyways, Kyle Chrisley, he also congratulated Chase saying, congrats brother, so happy for you. Emmy also gushed about their engagement on Instagram, saying, you're everything I've ever dreamed of and more. I love you, Chase, Madison, Chrisley. My heart is forever yours. And like I said, I didn't know that his middle name was Madison. I don't know if she's joking or if this is really his middle name. I tried to hurry up and look it up, like what is Chase Chrisley's middle name? And the site that I went to doesn't say. So I don't know, but I've only heard of Madison's, like female Madison's, so but whatever. After the proposal, Todd Chrisley shared a photo of his son proposing to Emmy and revealed how happy he was for her to join their family. He says, God is good. We are blessed beyond measures to welcome at Emmy to our family. I couldn't be happier and will always be grateful that God brought such a faithful and loving and God loving young woman to my son and our family. We will forever stand with you both through every storm that comes our way. So sweet. So sweet. Like I said, he took a play out of Kanye West's playbook. He rented out the First Horizons Baseball Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee, for where, and that's where he proposed. And he decorated it with over 175,000 rose petals. I wonder how much all that costs. Like, how much did they put into this? I don't know. He had his family waiting in the dugout so they could see the proposal, which is super cute. Also, Kanye West, he bust, you know, the Kardashian. 
all like Kim's entire family, all of her friends, like the people closest to her, he bust all of them there and they were hiding out in the dugout as well. So Todd, Julie, um, siblings and all their closest friends and family were hiding out on the dugout where he proposed to Emmy with a three and a half carat oval diamond ring. Emmy told People Magazine, it's absolutely gorgeous in regards to her ring. I can't stop staring at it. After the proposal, both of the families went to eat out at a nearby barbecue restaurant because why not, right? Um, and that is where they celebrated their engagement. The couple told People Magazine that they are they were all, they're already thinking about getting married in Charleston, South Carolina. Chris Lee said of their engagement, it was the perfect night. There's no doubt I want to spend the rest of my life with Emmy. We can't wait to build a family together. Oh, I feel like this will probably be like within the next year. Honestly, I feel like their wedding is going to be, it's not going to be one of those things where it's like five years down the road, six years down the road, something like that. I think it's going to be like within the next year and a half, they'll get married. And then I think we'll see little Chase Chrisley babies. Um, they are such a cute couple. Emmy is literally gorgeous. Like, I don't know if there's a prettier girl out there than Emmy. She is so beautiful. I think she fits in very well with the family. She's a God-loving woman. She's a Christian, and, you know, they're a Christian family. Uh, Ty likes her, so, you know. Um, but, yeah, I'm happy for the family. I think it's wonderful. It sucks they have this dark cloud over them because they've reconciled with... Um, I'm forgetting his name now. Kyle. They reconciled with Kyle. They reconciled with Lindsay. Chase is getting engaged, but they have this dark cloud of their impending sentencing, which is supposed to come in November. Um, they are trying to get a new trial. Um, uh, according to their defense team, they are saying that the prosecutor used a witness that actually lied on the stand. So, you know, we're going to keep up with that. I will be following if they get a new trial and if they do, do get a new trial, we'll be giving you guys updates on that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give this, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye everyone.